welcome to Eco Camper. My name's Pete, and uh, here we are in the lovely city of Foshan in China. And today we're going to introduce to you our new soft floor camper trailer. Our soft floor camper trailer can be made from either stainless steel or galvanized steel. It is 3.95 meters long, 2 meters wide, and 1.2 meters high. It weighs 860 kilos. It's a little smaller than the hard floor series, but it still has the same functions. When you arrive at your campsite, you need to set up the camper trailer. First, you have to disconnect the coupling from the vehicle. And we have different standards of coupling depending on which country you come from. You need to disconnect the coupling from the car, you need to disconnect the safety chain from the car and you must also remember to disconnect the electrical connection. Once you've done that, you then need to level the camper trailer using the jockey wheel control here. Once you've leveled the trailer, you need to come to the back and lower the stabilizing legs. There's one on the right and one on the left using this crank handle. So now the trailer is level, we're going to start to set up the tent. And first we've got to remove the waterproof cover by undoing the four straps here. A good tip is to put the waterproof cover down on the ground so we can place all our tent poles, tent pegs and canvases so we won't trip over them. Now we've got all the gear set out on top of the cover. You'll need two of these corner bars. They have a bung on one end, a C-clip on the other end, and they're adjustable. You'll need three of these spreader bars. They have a C-clip at each end, and again, they're adjustable. And that's all you need to set up the main tent. And now we're going to set the main tent. So now we're going to set up the awning and first we need to get the poles ready. The first one, this pole has a hook at this end and a flat bar at this end. We put the hook into the eye at the corner of the tent, like this. We take the next pole. This pole has a spike at one end and a bung at the other. Place the pole with the bung down and the spike goes into the flat bar like so. 
Then the next bar has a bung at one end and a C-clip at the other and this is the center support. And adjust it like that. So we've already installed a couple of the guy ropes to help it stay stable while we install the last parts of the crossbars of the roof part. So as you can see, we've set up the main tent and it's all completed. It's very quick, it's very easy. And over here we have the awning, which you can, if you're just staying for one or two days, you can just have the main tent. If you're staying for a little longer or you want more room, you can set up the awning and it's more fun, more spacious. So this trailer has a kitchen and our kitchen is in here. And you set the kitchen up like this. And it has drawers. You can have the option of having a kitchen with a stove or without a stove. This kitchen doesn't have a stove. But anyway, I think it's cool and it'll make camping a lot more fun. So that's the complete setup of our soft floor camping trailer. We hope you found it interesting. There are plenty more guy ropes and spreader bars if it's a windy day and you need to use them. Okay, so now we're gonna to come to the front box of the trailer and it opens, it has two locks open like this and it's very easy to open. It has two gas assist struts to help you open and close it. Inside 300 liters of storage space. You can put a lot of uh, camping stuff in here. It's got a rubber seal so it makes sure it's waterproof. And close it and lock it like that. Over here we have a place for a place for the gas bottle uh, sitting right here and over this side we have a place to store a 20 litre jerry can. So we've already seen this before at the back of the trailer. This is where the kitchen is but if you look inside a little further You'll see there is even more storage space for many many things. So to the left of the trailer there are some more storage compartments. They're lockable. Open it here and you can see we have a large drawer and we can store a lot of camping stuff in here too. And we can make sure it doesn't open by accident. We can lock it here so that when you're driving, it doesn't come up, come under. And a little further back, still on the left-hand side, another lockable compartment. 
and we can store even more camping stuff in here. So many places to store lots of things. Easily lockable. And at the back, on the left of the trailer, is another compartment. This time, this one has the battery and the inverter for electrical power while you're camping. And on the right hand side of the trailer, three more storage containers. This one is another place for a gas bottle. This is the water inlet, fresh water inlet. This one is another storage compartment, the same as the other side. And this compartment is the same as the other side, just lets you have access to that very, very big drawer that lets you store a lot of camping stuff. Our engineers are available if you have any questions that you need to ask about setting up the trailer. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy your camping and have a lot of fun.